Hello, today I'd like to demonstrate a tool that Spotware have developed. Um, it's a tool that's very, very useful. Um, and I'm going to explain how you're going to actually use it to save your drawing objects that you've drawn on a chart when you do a trade setup to your hard drive or to share, the, share these um, drawing objects that you set up with other traders. And you can email it to them or send it on Telegram. So the, pe the page you're looking at now is where you can actually download it. You can also go to the Spotware website or the CTrader website. You can download it from there. This indicator comes with a complete source code. So when you download it, you can go into the source code and modify it and change it as you will. Um, if I scroll down the page, um, it allows you to actually save all the objects that you use with the drawing tool. So if you look here, you can see the objects that I've got here with the drawing tool, which is text boxes, triangle boxes, rectangle, vertical lines, horizontal lines, trend lines, and the other uh, drawing tools like Fibonacci. You can actually put these onto the chart as part of your trade setup and then save it. So I'm just going to go straight in now and explain how to do it on the Ctrader trading platform. So here we go. This is Ctrader. The first thing you need to do is actually install the indicator. So if you've downloaded it from our website, it'll probably be zipped up. You'd have to uncompress it and then double click on the file and it will install. If you download it from the Ctrader website, you just double click and it will install. If you tap the key the space bar on your keyboard, it will come up with a window. Just type in the words chart. Um, the one we call it is chart template saver. Um, I think this, the C Trader one's slightly different. So this will come up with the settings window. Now I'm going to briefly go through this and then go through it in detail later on. So on the settings window, this allows you to actually decide how you want to save um, your chart diagrams or how to load it. Well, all it does, it actually saves your all your chart drawings that you put on the page, uh, sorry, on the chart. It will actually save it as a file on your PC. So you have hotkeys that you can use on your keyboard to actually save the file. So the default one is Shift C. So if you press Shift on your keyboard and then C, it will save all your drawing objects into a file onto your PC. If you want to actually load it, you do Shift L and it will load it in. Um, you can do manual loads like I'm doing now to open or load it, or you can actually um, set it up to do be automated. So if you select automated to yes, every time you put a new drawing object on the chart, it will actually save up and update that file. You can also, that's the on change. You can also do it for time. It means in this case, every minute, all your drawing objects will automatically save. Now that's probably a useful one to do because it means that um, if you're doing some very complex drawings, you don't really want to um, lose these drawings. You can actually just have it save automatically every minute. I'm just going to turn that off for now, uh, for now and just we're just going to be doing a um, manual save. Now, auto load on start, if you select yes, it will automatically load in um, the, the uh, template that, sorry, the drawing objects that you saved previously. So what it does, the way, how it works, it actually uses the symbol name. In this case, it's Euro USD, the time frame, and it will actually save those objects for this chart here that you've got upset here. So it will actually remember that and put it in. So I'll go ahead and go straight away and start showing you how to use it. So now this is one that I've loaded previously. That's why it's come up. I'm going to delete that actually. So we can start fresh. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to open up the um, file. I think it's Control Shift L. So if I do Shift L, oh no, Shift L is load. There you go. That just loads in the previous one. That's pretty good. So that's one that I've saved previously, but I wanted to start from scratch. I think it's Shift O for open. So Shift O for open. What this will do, this is I'm just going to drag it across. This has opened up a folder um, on my PC where the file is located. So this is the file that was saved previously with the settings. I'm going to delete that for now. And we're going to start fresh, okay? Okay, so this is a fresh window. So the first thing I'm going to do is do a drawing object. I'm just going to do the Fibonacci retracement. I'm just going to put anything in there for now. Okay. And then I'm going to put <clears throat> a um, horizontal line and put it around about here. And I'm going to change that horizontal line to blue and change the thickness it's a bit thicker. So that would be my um, my cell. If I was to say put a trade setup here, I'm just doing an example trade setup. It's not perfect. I'm just going to show you how I would probably do it. Um, you can draw a text object here and you can just say you want to buy when it gets to here. So it's got to drag my keyboard across. Okay, you can put the little buy text box there. So I hope you get the idea. You can actually, I'm going to duplicate this and drag that one up to there and change that to cell. So all your drawing objects that you put on here, you can um, use it for this. And I can grab the icons as well. If I want an up icon, I could put it there. Change the color of the up icon to green. And I can, I don't want to duplicate that. I can get another icon down and put it here for sell and change it to red. 
So the whole idea is, is just to show you that I can actually um, start creating drawing objects on the chart for my trade setup using any one of these tools. You've got the Fibonacci, Fibonacci tools here and you've got the uh, price channel there. It doesn't use the pencil lines, So if you're gonna attempt to do pencil lines, that doesn't work, but it does with trend lines and ray lines. You can stick a trend line in there and, uh, and then you can change the color of that. Now, what I'm gonna do is go straight away and um, choose a color actually for that. Purple. So now what I'm gonna do is to save this because it uses a hotkey, remember previously, if I just do shift and S, I've done it. It's actually saved it. It hasn't actually informed me on the page, but if I do shift and O, it's opened up the folder. Now, if I open it with uh, Notepad, you can see that in this file, if you're interested in this file, it shows, it saves all the objects that we've just put on the chart. So these are all the objects that we've just placed on the chart, saves it in a file format called XML. Now, if I actually, um, I've saved that now. If I open up another chart, EuroUSD, okay? Now, if I wanted to load the um, drawing objects onto here, you're not going to be able to just do shift and load because you have to install the indicator first. So what we need to do, tap on the keyboard and type in draw, drawing, um, what was it? Chart, wasn't it? I have to remember what it was now. Chart template saver, sorry, that was it. So I need to load the object onto this chart first. Again, you can add all your settings that you want to do on here. So if I click OK, now the actual indicator is on this chart. Now we can load it in. So for it to work with different charts, you need to install it on the charts you want to use. So there's our old chart. This is the chart we've just put up. It's now got the indicator on there. If I want to load all those drawing objects onto here, I just do Shift L. And there you go. There's the drawing objects. So this will come very useful if you're doing quite complex drawing objects. And an example would be I do a very complex uh, technical analysis for a potential trade. And I want to share this file on a Telegram group. What I would do is I would actually do the objects like this. I do shift O to open up the folder. I grab this file and I would actually copy it and I would actually send it or post it onto the Telegram group. Or you can email it to a trading colleague or anything like that. Then all they need to do is uh, download the file onto their downloads folder. And then when you do um, to load a file, control L, I think, I think it's control O. I'd have to find out. Yeah, control O. All you need to do then is, down, is navigate to your down, download folder, wherever you've downloaded it, and just open the file. And it will automatically uh, put it onto their desktop. So you could have somebody in England, somebody in Japan, and you could share your trade setup. So that's straightforward. Okay, that's it. That's all I want to show you on this video. I don't think there's anything else going down. Da, 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 not really. Here, I'll tell you how to install and, and put it in here. If you've got any problems with indicator settings, just post it on the CTDN website or on our website. Um, and that's it. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you very much.